Hello everybody, this is Tom from Halcyon Technologies. Today I will show you how to install, set up and use the IVMS 45 found which is the phone and tablet app for the Equivision DVL, the Equivision HD DVL. So first we need to download the app. We'll go to the App Store or to the Play Store. We will look for IVMS 4500. We will download the app and open it. First time the app is open, we need to select the country. So we go to America and we select USA. We will enter the app. To add the device, we will go to the menu and go to devices. We can erase the demo device. We're not going to use it. And then we're going to click on the plus button on the top right. We click on manual adding. Register mode we will have to change to IP slash domain. Now the information we will need to add a DVL is the address, the port, the username and the password. All this information will be provided to you by the technician when the installation is done or we will email you this information. This information is specific for each DVL. Now as for alias we will put any name that we want. In this case we put demo address you're gonna use whatever if it's a fixed IP address that you have and you pay for your internet supplier to have or if you get from us a domain so the address in this case is 192.168.1.50 the default port is 8000 or 8001 in this case it's 8000 the default user is admin but now we will use demo and the password is whatever password we set up for you now i will change the port just for the demo to show you what happened if one of the information is not correct or if the internet connection is down or you're doing something wrong after you put all the information you will click on the save button that is just behind the logo in the top in the top right corner and it will show you connection failed that means one of the information is wrong or the connection is, is bad. Now we will edit and put the right port. We click on save, and this is what you should get. You should get the start live button, start live view at the bottom, and you should get the camera number that you have available on the DVR. And this is not the number of the camera that connected, this is what you can connect to the DVR. In this case, it's a channel DVR. After we put all the information, we click on start live view and the camera will pop up we can click on the button to change the screen division and we have two cameras connected double click on the camera we will get full screen if you rotate the screen we can get the camera in full full screen now by default the cameras will come as low resolution this is to have a better better uh, communication to save bandwidth and to have everything move faster so we have less delay if you want to get full resolution we will click on the bottom menu on the fourth button from the left this is the streaming type and we can choose between fluent to clear if you click on clear you will see the resolution go to full resolution right away okay the second most useful button is the second button from the right this is the magnifier tool we will click on the magnifier tool and then we can just stretch the picture and move it with the finger. And we can get way more details from the frame. To go out from this mode, we're just going to click on the same button again. Okay, other useful button is the snapshot button, which is the first button from the left. Click on this button, just going to save a snapshot to your, to your gallery. The next one is capture the screen. Once you click on this button, it's just gonna start recording video of what's going on in the frame that you're viewing and you will keep it in your gallery. Another click just to stop it. Next one is the PTZ controller. I will go to this mode so you will see more details. So the PTZ controller, if you have a PTZ camera, you can just move the PTZ by moving your finger on the screen. Or you can do it manually with the button. This is zoom out, zoom in, 
So you can just stretch the picture. Now this camera is not moving because it's not a PTZ camera. You can also save preset, call, delete a specific preset, specific location you want the camera to zoom into. Okay. Next useful button is this one, audio on off. So if you have microphone connected to the channel, you can actually hear the specific channel on your smartphone or on your tablet. The button next to it, the icon next to it, it's to enable or disable microphone. So you're going to use your phone microphone to transmit your audio to the side. This is in case we connected a speaker to your DVR and you can put big speaker so you can yell on whoever at your site or if you want to transmit a message to somebody right away. Another click is to end it. The next one is relay control. So the DVR in this case have eight relays. I'm sorry, it have 12 relays. And we can control them, we can turn them on and off. And we can connect to those relay anything as light, open or, open or close light open or close gate, other electrical devices, we can control them from the same app and we can actually see what happened while we're doing this, while we're doing so. So this is about the live view. I will show you also how to I will show you how to see how to see playback. So we're gonna go out of PTZ, PTZ mode. Always remember that if you, if you get into some mode and the icon is lit red to change the screen to go to the menu you will have to turn off the mode now if for some reason you can actually you can click on the icon and move them if for some reason you move it to the trash and you want to reset the view just click on the menu go to devices go to your device and click on live view and the view will be reset to the default setting now to go to to see playback you will go to remote playback you will click on one of the screen and you will add the specific camera you want to see in this case we will select back parking you can add more than one camera if you want if you're just searching one camera which is easier just double click it and make it big and on the bottom you have the date and the time and you can actually just scroll the time to the specific time that you want so let's pause it for a second and you can just go to 3 a.m. and see what trigger the motion. So we can see a car was driving by at at 3:34 a.m. Okay. Once this event is done, it's just gonna jump to the next event. You wanna go? F you wanna go faster? Just click on the speed up, and you can go faster. And it's just gonna jump from one event to another. Okay, if something interesting happened, you want to save it, just click on the snapshot and the picture will be saved into your gallery. Uh, other than that, you have mostly the same, the same icons and the same features that's relevant to playback. That's it guys, if you have any question, you can always call us, you can email our support group and we will be more than happy to help you. Thank you for watching, this is Tom.